before I dive into this, I like to end it. And what I'm about to say is just from my own studies, the clients I've worked with, and a few of the teachings from Barbara O'Neill. I've also studied Dr. Robert Morris, Layla Africa, Dr. Melanie Stevenson, the list goes on. And this is the parallel that I found, I found between all of them. It's not so much about the spike, but it's more so about the regulation of the spike. When it comes down to fruits and vegetables, but more, let's more so stay on the thing of fruits because a lot of what I said was fruits. That's a natural spike. The body knows what to do with it, X, Y, and Z. But when we start messing with refined sugars and carbohydrates, that's when, especially diabetics, the body just has a horrible time with it. But let's dive in a little bit more with it. Now, am I saying you should go crazy with it and just, t like, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is there is a method to this madness. So stop eating refined sugars. Stop eating wheat. Stop consuming dairy. Stop consuming caffeine. No margarine. Now here's what we have to here's what we have to implement and increase. Let's start with water. Your pancreas requires water to even make the insulin. So I'm talking at least eight glasses a day. Now here's how you get the water inside of the cell. You need Celtic salt. Now Himalayan salt is just as good, but use the first one. And you say how much? About the size of a sesame seed. Just a little crystal of Celtic salt inside of your water. And those minerals will pull the water inside of the cell. What you also have to increase, which most people don't, is exercise. To be more specific, high intensity interval training. You only have to do it for about 30 seconds with a two to three minute rest period in between and try six cycles. And you might say that that don't sound too long. That don't sound too difficult. Try running up a hill for 30 seconds and, and do that six times to tell me how you feel. Average person can't do that. After 30 seconds, your body's like, that's enough. And this will do more for you than a one hour walk. Now, when you're doing this, some amazing things are happening within the cells. And what's happening within the cell is going to affect the diabetes. Now, I ain't gonna lie, this video is getting good. I'm gonna have to make a part two, but let me continue. And if we run out of time, I'm just gonna make a part two. So as you're doing this, your glycogen cells are getting plucked. So by the time you even get to the end of the second set of the exercise we just talked about, everything been being plucked. Because now your body is like, I need fuel. So when that happens, the pituitary gland starts to work. So the human growth hormone starts to get released via the pituitary glands. And the human growth hormone, better known as the youth hormone, and that activates the hormone-sensitive lipids. Now, this is an enzyme that breaks down fat. Stay with me. What kind of fat does this thing break down? It breaks down polyunsaturated fats. Your fat. Not to say that you're fat, but I'm going somewhere with this. Because we have to remember that's what fat is. It's fuel. Now, keep in mind, this hormone helps the body to process protein a lot better. Dang, I'm running out of time. Okay, I'm about to make a part two. Stay, stay tuned, y'all. I'm about to make a part two. Just go to the next video.